In this problem, I have a very long expression that I'm going to have to simplify, and I need to write it without negative exponents. So let's take a look at it. I have this quantity raised to the one-third power times a 2 times this quantity times 4. These are all multiplied together, so these make up my first term. Then I have an addition sign, and here comes my second term, and it again has one, two, three, four quantities in it. So I need to look at each term separately. In the first term, notice I have four quantities multiplied together, and since I have a 2 and a 4, I can multiply them together. And so I get 2 times 4 is 8, times the quantity 3x plus 2 to the one third power, times the quantity 4x minus 5. And now we need to add the second term. So let's take a look at our second term. Here it is. And notice I have a one-third times a three. So I'm going to simplify that to start with. So I have one-third times three over one. The threes reduce. And what do I get left with? I just get my four x minus five to the second power times three x plus two to the negative two-thirds power. So now this is the expression that we're going to have to simplify. And let me show you something that students tend to do wrong in this problem, is they'd be tempted to distribute the eight into this parentheses. But notice that three x plus two is raised to the one-third power. You can never distribute a number into a parenthesis unless that parenthesis is raised to the first power. So please do not get tempted to do that in this problem. So now, in our first term, notice we have a 3x plus 2 and a 4x minus 5, and we have exactly the same expressions in our second term. So we're going to have to factor out common factors of this binomial and this binomial. And before I do that, let me quickly review pulling out common factors. If I had 3a to the 7th minus 4a squared and ask you to pull out the common factors, well, they don't have any numbers in common. So if you notice, can't pull a common factor out between a 3 and a 4 but they each have a's in common. And I think this is second nature now. You know to factor out the a with the least exponents. So you're going to factor a squared out. And what's it going to leave behind? 3a to the fifth minus 4. And I think you're pretty good at doing that, but I just want to review where did this 5 come from? So remember, we factor out the variable with the least exponent, which is a 2. And then to factor it out, what we're going to do is take the original exponent and subtract the one we're factoring out. So what's 7 minus 2? That's where the 5 comes from. So now we're ready to factor out our common factors. And if you notice, there are no numbers they have in common, so I'm going to take the easy one first. I'm going to take the 4x minus 5 and the 4x minus 5 squared. So what exponent is on the 4x minus 5 in the first term? Well, it is just a 1. And which is smaller, 1 or 2? 1. So we're going to factor out a 4x minus 5 to the first power. And now I'm going to have to factor out a 3x plus 2. To which exponent? Here's 1 third. Here's negative 2 thirds, which is the smaller negative 2 thirds. And what does it leave behind? Well, on my first term, it's definitely going to leave an 8. 
I factored out the 4x minus 5 completely. So I'm going to have 8 times. Now the tricky part. What exponent is it going to leave on the 3x plus 2? I'm factoring 3x plus 2 to the negative 2 thirds out of this expression here. So remember, how did I get this 5 here? I did 7 minus what I'm factoring out. So I'm going to put a little room on the right-hand side here. Whoops, get my pen working for my scratch work. I started with a 1 -third power, and I'm factoring out a negative 2 thirds. So I have 1 -third minus a negative 2 thirds. And what's that equal? Well, minus a negative, add the opposite. One third plus two thirds is three thirds, otherwise known as one. So I'm going to get left with three x plus two to the first power. If you're not sure if you've done it right, if I multiply this times this, you're going to add exponents. What's negative two thirds plus one? Negative two-thirds plus three-thirds is one-third, which is what I started with. That's the hard part. Now we come to the easier part. If I factor a 3x plus 2 to the negative two-thirds out, that total term is factored out. And I'm going to factor 4x minus 5 out of a 4x minus 5 squared. It's just going to leave 4x minus 5 to the first power. And so that is the hard part of this question. So now all I've got to do is simplify it. My 4x minus 5 stays exactly where it is. Remember it said no negative exponents in the answer. So here I have a negative 2 thirds. That means this term is going to go into the denominator. And that's going to be raised to the positive two-thirds power. And then all I have to do is distribute my 8 in. Now remember, I can do it because this is raised to the first power now. And simplify. So I have 8 times 3 is 24x. 8 times 2 is plus 16. Here, I just have a 1 in front, so that's just going to leave me with 4x minus 5. And the only thing I have to do at the end is simplify this expression here by adding like terms. So I'm going to get 4x minus 5 in the numerator. I'm going to get my 3x plus 2 to the 2 thirds power in the denominator. And here I have a 24x and a 4x, which is going to give me 28x. And then I have 16 minus 5, which is 11. And so there is my simplified answer written without any negative exponents.